Hello, my beautiful loves. Welcome to your love reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Uh, let's go ahead and get started here with some channeled messages, Gemini, okay? Gemini, um, so these may or may not resonate with the actual reading. These are just channeled messages that I picked up. Um, they may not resonate with everybody, obviously, okay? So, Gemini, I feel like there may possibly be a situation here where someone did not want to invest in a situation or get involved in a situation because it was taking place in the workplace and um, someone here did not want to start a romantic relationship in the workplace, okay? Um, for others of you, I feel that it may have started that way where someone here did not want to, you know what I'm saying, start a new relationship or whatever the case may be. I feel that the reason why someone here did not want this connection is because it would have to remain hidden. I feel that for the majority of the collective that I'm reading for, it may be a work issue, okay? But obviously there's a hundred reasons why you might want to hide something, whether it's because your family doesn't like this person, they're a different culture, um, you know, you're in a current relationship, you know what I'm saying? Whatever the case may be, I feel like this was supposed to remain hidden okay and it's becoming harder and harder for that to happen okay it's like it's becoming harder and harder for two people to not show that they care about each other it's becoming harder and harder um to block out friends or family or third parties or work colleagues from knowing that you are together with this person okay so let's see what we have here for gemini Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my beautiful Geminis. Tell me about Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. Tell me about Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, please. Yeah, okay. Six of Swords, King of Pentacles in the reverse, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy, We've got the Six of Cups and the Queen of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy. We've got the Seven of Swords. And we've got the Four of Wands. Okay, so Gemini, what we have here is a situation where someone is either married, living with somebody, engaged to be married, in a commitment, or someone here just has, a, like I said, a very stable job. And with that Seven of Swords energy, there's a sense of somebody doing something that they shouldn't be doing. So if, you know, they're in a relationship at the workplace when they're not supposed to, breaking the rules. If they're married, living with somebody in a relationship or about to get engaged, someone here is lying, cheating, being deceptive, okay? We've got the Six of Cups and the Queen of Wands. Um, so this could be, I feel like the Queen of Wands is obviously the third party. Now, this could be, um, Obviously, it could be an ex, okay? It could just mean also that someone here feels a very strong soul tie with this person. They feel a lot of passion, a lot of lust, a very strong chemistry towards this person. Um, with the Six of Swords and the King of Pentacles uh, in the reverse, I feel like this situation may cost somebody their job, their home, their family someone here may actually go broke um to to go be with this situation and this person so let's see here we've got the four of cups under the deck the wheel of fortune and the queen of swords aquarius gemini libra energy i feel that I feel here, Gemini, that someone was very lonely and uh, did just very upset over how the connection uh, was going. I feel like when somebody is without their person, without this Queen of Wands, they miss them tremendously. Because so, this King of Pentacles energy here is this unhappy, this is why the Wheel of Fortune has stepped in and divine timing has created such massive 
upheaval. Um, and with the Queen of Swords here, I feel like it's the Queen of Swords that's cutting someone off. So gender doesn't matter in Tarot, Gemini, but this could be, you know, the marital person. It could be the other third party person, the person that they're living with or engaged to be married. It could be the boss. It could be a manager. Someone here is, this is the person that's cutting the King of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay. Um, so let's see here. Uh, for many of you, it really is a workplace romance, you know, for, for many of you. Tell me about the Four of, of Wands, the King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. Tell me about the Seven of Swords, on top of the Seven of Swords. I feel here that someone was very confident in their, their position, though. I feel like someone here, you know, maybe as a manager or if it's a work situation, they've just been at that place a long time, or maybe they were very confident and solid and stable in their relationship and they thought that their person would never find out. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I feel like someone here thought that they had it all under control. You understand what I'm saying? That they, in front of people, they were able to control their emotions. Which wasn't true. Tell me about the Queen of Wands here for Gemini. Queen of Wands in the reverse. Leo, Sag, Aries energy. Tell me about the Six of Cups for Gemini. We've got the Hanged Man and the Magician. I feel here that we have somebody that is waiting on the sidelines. I feel like this person has been around for a long time. This could be a childhood friend. It could be an ex, but someone here is waiting around a little jealous, a little possessive, maybe using sex to manipulate. Um, but I feel like someone here is waiting and waiting and waiting for something to manifest, for something to happen, for someone here to leave. Okay. Eight of swords, nine of swords. I feel like this person is not in any way, shape or form waiting patiently someone here is mad angry upset crying four of pentacles this person is in an energy of don't you love me you know what i'm saying i feel what this person wants to hear is i have ended it come towards me do you see what i'm saying so someone here if this is a third party situation where someone is married someone here is very jealous and possessive and they want that that relationship to end and they want to be the only one if this is a work situation someone is going to end up getting caught because we have someone here that is being overly explicit with public defase, public displays of uh, affection or being flirtatious in some way, shape, or form. Someone is making it obvious that there's something going on. Tell me about the King of Pentacles in the reverse. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Tell me about the Six of Swords. And the Four of Wands. Yeah, I, I feel here that somebody here is about to lose someone that they love. Their home, their family. Someone here is getting kicked out. Someone here is getting kicked out because with the Six of Cups and the High Priestess and the Five of Wands, we may have an ex here that is extremely jealous. We may have an ex here that your person is infatuated with. Um, someone here is very jealous. Someone here is juggling the past, okay? With the Eight of Wands and the Five of Cups, um, I feel like someone here maybe has regret over this or whatever the case may be, but I, I feel like it's over. I, I don't see it coming back together. So someone's either losing their job or their relationship. Tell me about the Four of Cups and the Knight of Cups. Tell me about the Four of Cups and the Knight of Cups. Someone misses the other person. Yeah, someone here misses the other person. It's like when they're not around, all they want to do is go and talk to that person. Wheel of Fortune, please. And we've got the Wheel of Fortune under the deck here, too. I just wanted you to see that. Did this fall? I could have sworn a card fell. Am I crazy? No, oh, maybe it was that one. Okay. Temperance in the reverse. The upheaval. Impatience. Impatience. This is going to bother me because I feel like I saw a card fall. Maybe it was just that one. Okay. Well, anyways, impatience. The Wheel of Fortune under the deck again. Um, you know, someone here is just uh, impatient. Queen of Swords. 
and the Ten of Cups in the reverse. And this is going to lead to somebody, like I said, Five of Pentacles becoming desolate. They're going to lose their home, their family, their job because they can't, they couldn't, like, they, this is like an energy of two people that can't keep their hands off of each other. They can't stay away from each other. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like as soon as as soon as they withdraw from each other, all they do is daydream about each other. Now, I don't know if the Queen of Wands is in that energy. The Queen of Wands would appear to me that they just want the attention. They like this attention. But one person is infatuated. And the person that's infatuated is going to end up, it's going to cost them everything. Okay? All right, guys. I love you and take care. Bye.